This morning I'm going to try out the uh, awesome Carbon Bird gear on the FX79. I really love these wings. They're beautifully designed, beautiful shape, all really efficient. Right from the Wing Wing Z84, the FX61 and this monster, the FX79, they're all just beautiful, beautiful flying wings. So I fitted the Carbon Bird 1111 KV motor from multi -Wee Copter. Beautiful motor, almost specifically designed for this wing. Here's a really nice uh, motor mount that Q has 3D printed. I think he's going to get them manufactured and make them available, hopefully, because they fit perfectly with his beautiful Carbon Bird motors. See the motor sits right out in the airflow now, so a lot better cooling than before when it was sort of buried in there. CG will go back a little bit, but that just means that I can use a, a nice big 4S battery up the front. Uh, the prop is probably going to be too big 4S. I'll try 3S to start off with and then change to a smaller prop, maybe. And I have the uh, Carbon Bird KST 18 gram Metal Gear digital servos. Uh, I haven't put Air 3 iNav on here yet. It's in there ready to go, but I haven't connected it up. This is just a shakedown flight to see how the motor and the servos perform on this big beast and to get an idea of current draw and flight time and uh, just general handling. Anyway, let's go. Ooh, very nice. Plenty of power. It's uh balanced pretty well, I think. Below half throttle, flying beautifully. A little bit of hand wind there. Oh, nice. It's going to be fantastic with INAV on it. It's just so smooth. 6.5 amps cruising around. That's awesome. Seven, seven or eight amps will be a good cruising seven speed. Amps. Seven point three amps. Very cool. Listen to that beautiful, smooth seven motor. Point six amps. Eleven point nine volts. Two hundred thirty-two milliamp hours. Minimum trim reached. So I could push the batteries back a little bit. I think I'll, I'll land it and do that. Look how far this thing glides. It is such a such a glider. Ah, oh, sweet. I'm already behind the nipples on the bottom. These spots here, I'm sort of a bit behind, but I'm still using a bit of up trim, so I'm going to move the battery back a little. I have an FR Sky 40 amp. Uh, current sensor there, that's why I don't want to go over 40 amps. I want to keep a track of, ch check on it. That's the Air 3 INAV uh, BEC, which is driving the receiver and the servos. This could still go back a little bit further. I'm trying to get it so I haven't got any up trim at all on the elevons. Look at the glide. <laughs> Shit. Awesome. All right, I need to I need to find the point where I'm too far back. CG is now on the back of that plywood plate. touchy now. Oh, shit. What happened? I lost it. Alright, so it looks like the CG needs to go a bit further forward than the back. That was a little bit too far back, so maybe about where my original marks were is going to be about right. And that means that I do have to have a little bit of up elevon.
Okay, so this is a stunning wing. Absolutely love it. It is quite big, two meter wingspan, but with the um, big powerful 1111 KV carbon bird motor on it and the, uh, what is it, 12, 12 by 6.5 aeronaut folding prop and the um, carbon bird case T 18 gram servos. It's an absolute delight to fly. It just floats around, glides, <laughs> glides like a glider, basically. The perfect big long range FPV rig, I think. Okay, so now I'm going to go and uh, connect up the Air 3 iNav for the full autopilot experience. See you later.